Hello friends, Tiger Coward here. Welcome back to day three of Tiger Barb to Thunder Bay 2-Op 2022. The adventure truly begins today. Watch this one, it's fun. Welcome to day three. We had a marathon adventure today. The adventure started early with an adventure bike ride down the tri-bag mining road, which was right behind our cabin. We had read that at about eight kilometers in from the highway, you could see Batchewana Falls. So we decided to ride down on the Tiger. At first it was an easy ride, but due to yesterday's rain, there were slippery mud sections everywhere. The Tiger performed admirably and Barb was an absolute champion as the bike slithered through the toughest sections. Then the road narrowed and was flooded in big pond-like puddles 20 meters long. We crossed them with ease despite the water being up over my foot pegs at times. After about six kilometers, I thought the road was getting too dicey, so we parked and walked to the falls. It was a beautiful scene, and the added bonus of being deep in the woods was that we were completely alone. We stopped the bike about two kilometers short of here because it was getting a little gnarly. And now there's a short path to the edge where we can see down to the waterfall. And then back towards the river. That is the Batchewana River. Batchewana Falls. This was the first time that we've been off-road while we were two up. We are not exactly Tim and Marissa no tier, but we were two up and overloaded. It was fun, but I was really nervous about dropping the bike with Barb on the back. All in all, it was exhilarating. I recommend it for everybody. We headed back to the cabin and packed up, with our first plan stop just five kilometers away at Voyager's Lodge. Barb's friend Pam urged her to stop there for their legendary apple fritters. So we did, and Barb gives it two thumbs up for both the fritter and the coffee. Part 
From there, we rode north to Lake Superior Provincial Park and stopped at Old Woman's Bay. It was extraordinary. We took a couple hours to hike the Nokomis Trail. I believe that Nokomis is an Ojibwe word that means, David, you are fat and out of shape and you will struggle to keep up with your fit wife who appears to be part mountain goat. Anyhow, we got to the lookout points and it was well worth the trek. After the hike, we walked along the beach and bathed our hot feet in the icy waters of Lake Superior. We had an early dinner at North of 17 in Wawa. Unfortunately, the meal was south of Satisfactory and I'll never eat there again. I suggest you don't eat there either. We got back on Highway 17 and rode to Marathon with a quick pee break in White River. The ride was very scenic and there was almost no traffic at all. I love Northern Ontario. We arrived at the much maligned, but quite okay, Marathon Airport Inn just as the sun was setting at 8.30. We are expecting a big storm overnight and tomorrow that we'll be riding in the rain until lunchtime. We'll stop for brunch in my favorite town, Terrace Bay, and then we'll be in Thunder Bay for dinner. Go forth with an open mind and most importantly an open heart. And remember, self-care is not selfish.